All of us have heard about a pacemaker, but what is it? When is it used? How does it help? In this short film, Dr. Balbir Singh, the chairman of electrophysiology at Medanta the Medicity, gives you answers to some common questions about pacemakers. What is a pacemaker? What I have in my hand is a pacemaker. So this is this small a pacemaker which can actually function like a generator and give impulse or current to the heart for it to start beating again. So what it does is that uh, it sits under the skin, so we implant it under the skin and connect it to the heart through a wire. An average heart beats 60 to 80 times in a minute in a regular coordinated manner. When the natural electrical impulses in the heart become too slow or interrupted, it usually manifests as dizzying or fainting. In these cases, based on the condition of the patient, the doctor may advise using a pacemaker which delivers electrical impulses to keep the heart beating in a regular fashion. Who needs a pacemaker? This needs some investigations. You need to decide, your symptoms need to decide, but promptly going to a doctor and asking him that would you need some of these newer innovations or newer devices which can help is going to be a great idea because it's going to help many human lives being saved. In some people, not only do the electrical impulses in the heart become weak, but the heart chambers become weak as well. In some such cases, the doctor may employ a biventricular pacemaker. This pacemaker improves the pumping efficiency of the heart by synchronizing its different chambers. However, sometimes abnormal electrical discharges can occur in different parts of the heart muscles, making them beat abnormally fast. This compromises the ability of the heart muscles to pump blood efficiently. And if this continues for even a few minutes, it can lead to death. In these situations, only an electrical shock delivered to the heart can save the life of the patient. An ICD or implantable cardioverter defibrillator can deliver this shock and effectively stun the heart to help restore normal rate and rhythm. A pacemaker is generally implanted under local anesthesia, so you will remain conscious throughout the process. After the procedure is completed, your doctor will have you stay at the hospital for a couple of days to monitor your health and ensure that the newly installed pacemaker is working well. What precautions should one observe if he has been implanted with a pacemaker or an ICD? Most patients resume their regular lifestyle after observing precautions for a few days. Vigorous exercise and heavy lifting must be avoided for a month after surgery. Patients should not keep their cell phones in the breast pocket close to which the device has been implanted. They should also avoid coming in close contact with metal detectors. The use of most home appliances including microwave ovens etc. don't usually cause any problems. This is becoming a very common procedure. We do about hundreds every month. It's become worldwide a very common procedure. Now, there are very few conditions in human medicine where we can actually offer a cure to the patient. And this is one of them. So it's an amazing technology because patient gets cured for the rest of his life. To know more, consult a qualified medical practitioner for an accurate diagnosis of your health condition. Mm -hmm.